all right youtube in this video i'm going to show you how to create shopping cart website so this is the first section in this section we are going to see how to convert html template to php and i'm going to show you how to create login system and you are going to see how to create <coughs> sorry add edit view and delete categories so to follow along i have left the source code in the description fine this is the html template which i have converted into php so there are many <coughs> so there are many projects so there are many uh, pages so we have cart page this is a cart page and we have checkout page which is where you can where you can you insert your billing address open all the files so that you can see how does it looks so this is a single project single product page we have seen my account so this is a my account where you have you can see all your uh, orders so this is the html template we have converted it to php now it's php uh, now the next thing we are going to see login system admin login so we have used we are, uh, at present i have created only one admin so this is the email id and the password i have used i have encrypted it we click login e this is a dashboard at present you can only add the categories add view edit and delete so let us view so at present we have only one category so let me add one more category which is mobile category mobiles click on submit and you can see a uh, mobile phone is added so if you wish to edit you can edit, click on edit mobile phones click on submit and now it's mobile phones and if you wish to delete it you can delete it so we have we, we can add it we can view the total we can view the details we can view the categories and we can edit it we have edited with mobile to mobile phones and now we are deleting it so fine continue with this video and uh, this is the introduction right, of this in this section we are going to see how to create the uh, tables which is required for a uh, database connection fine now so the table which we are going to create is admin category products user and order which we will be doing uh, while creating that while create while creating the project so right now we'll just focus on these things three, three tables the first one is admin admin data fine now new so the database name i'm going to give is shopping cart so we need five columns this is the table name and we need five column the first one is id the second one is first name last name use the name or email let me give the email. password this is int and uh, let's have it auto increment where care 200 again this is where care 200 let's have this where care where care so let's save it this is the first table let's get him let's get a second table for this shopping cart which I will be naming as category so we have only two columns here the first one is cat id then we have cat name the first one is int the second one is where care 200 the first one is the prim primary key of this table let us save let us on the third one which is product so 
so we need five the first one is product ID the second one is product name and third one is the foreign key product ID product name cat ID price thumbnail I will just have thumb so we need one more thing which is description this is int and this is the primary key this is where care 200 again this is int this is where care this is where care this is again where care so the thumb is going to be the thumbnail image we will be saving the file name so where is the save button it's here so we have created, created three tables so during the process we will be creating again three tables with a data with uh, the relevant column names the users orders and wish list fine let's get into the another section now we are going to uh, create the config file that config file will be responsible for connection of the database fine let us get into our uh, visual studio code and uh, we have a project so this is a project structure html structure so we will be converting this uh, html template into php in this section or in this uh, to in this video so once it is open we have to create a new control n i think it is still loading and let's save this inside the folder name shopping cart this is our current project and i'm going to create a folder called config and in the config we have Uh, we have to create a file for database connection db dot php so once it is created let we have to open our php tag and we have to write the connection code required so this is the code required for connection to the database so our server name is localhost we have our username as the root the password is nothing for sam the last thing was missing which is database name it does not have the database name so we will copy this from here and we'll pass the fourth parameter as database name once it is connected we should get the message as connected we should get it to the file called config folder called config and set the config we have db.php and it says we should we don't have the database so we have created the database with the name shopping cart we have to pass that over here and now it, it is okay that if there is no error that means it is working if we give some mistakes like let me change the username so you say the connection is access denied because of the username fine now it means this is working fine now let us create uh, this is a common file so let us create a login page for php so before doing anything uh, let me show you the file structure we have two set of uh, files the first one is for a uh, normal user uh, which is like us a uh, customer who is logging into the shopping cart so these are the pages for that and and the other thing is admin so for the admin uh, it is also for the normal customer if if we like to if he like to log in with this uh, if he like to create a username and password and log in to check the orders which we which he has ordered previously so he can use the admin section so for now we will just focus on the first section which is outside of admin for all users so we'll create the login file now so let me show you how the login file looks like 
login.php login.html it's in the html form now okay now we what we do is we would create three files in the folder called inc and inside the inc i would be having one file called header.php and then we have footer.php and we'll have one more thing which is nav.php so on the login till the navbar we'll copy it and paste it over here on the header and we'll call the php tag include so it is not going to work because we are writing it inside the html so we have to copy this copy the whole thing and uh, control n paste control s and we have to name it as login.php fine now in the login.php we can use our we can include the header over here HP include uh, we are going to name this at header dot php so if i open the file php file which i have created right now login dot php and it says fail to open no such directory it is because it is inside the include folder inc folder it is not connecting fine it is working now if you see the same way i'm going to copy the nav and paste it inside the nav.php and i'm going to call it over here so if i refresh it should work if i remove it and save the nav is not there the next thing footer we don't have a dedicated footer we just have these two section and paste it over here and likewise we have to call the footer below fine likewise we have to create this for all the pages the first let's start with the cart control n copy the whole section and paste it over here and save it as cart.php so we have to replace the header and nav bar and we have to include it the same way for the footer the new file check out control n check out dot php let us include the footer first over time this time if i go a bit up copy the header and nav bar another index text.php that this section will have different header that's the reason i'm not doing it for admin right now log in my account this is a total of 8 hours video i hope if if you like if you already know or you just want to brush up what you can do is you can fast forward uh, youtube has a fast forward button you can 
make it 2x or 3x or 2x or 1.5x and complete the all full lecture single dot php I think you have completed all the things. Single is there. My account is there. Login is there. PHP index is there. Checkout is there. And cart is there. Let's check all the things one by one. Checkout dot PHP. Working. Text dot PHP. Working. Logging already worked. We checked. My account dot PHP working. Single dot PHP working. Now we are going to create a login system and. Uh, create session to access all pages and after login we are going to create a session and if the session is active we would be able to access all the individual pages so fine so for that we have to get into the admin section inside the admin we have admin login which we will convert it into PHP right now control O admin copy the whole thing paste it control S and we will give name as admin login dot php and likewise we will create header and footer in the inc folder header dot php ls footer dot php control s nav dot php the nav bar is inside the text page so this comes this gets into the header and the nav bar parts get into the nav.php and then the footer section fine now We'll call on the admin login. We'll call the header header dot php, which is inside inc. It's working. If I call navbar, navbar push but we don't need navbar on the login page we'll totally remove it and we'll have the footer and just the second page we are going to create is index control and paste index.php we'll remove the whole thing and we'll just add a header Nav one footer. Fine. Now, just by looking at the nav bar, we are going to create the relevant pages. So this is the link 
we have categories categories dot php and we are going to add 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 category dot php file the same way products dot php add products dot php file orders dot php add order dot php edit profile dot php and then we have logout dot php so we have some set of files to be created right now just like the index file which the, with just header footer and number first of all we'll copy paste the file names So let's open the index file. Inside admin, we have index.php. Copy, and paste, save as edit profile.php. Copy, control, and paste save it as add order order.php add products products or control ship it as Category dot PHP control yes. Add category dot PHP. So everything is interlinked. So we have created some set of files. Now let's work on the login system. So to create the login system, we have to get it to the admin data. And we have to insert file fields the name let me give my name and the last name is also mine and the email is vishal at the rate gmail.com and the password that we are going to do is same but we will encrypt it using md5 md5 fine click on click on browse so if you see we have the data inserted now let's get into the login.php let's close these all things we are in the login.php We have to get into admin login.php, not the login.php. Where is admin login? So we have to give name, which is email, and then we have password, SWT. And we'll give the input type submit and the name. submit and uh, we'll make sure the form is available and uh, it has the method fine now over here we'll write if is set 
which is the dollar underscore post and the name of the button is submit if it is set then echo you click the button this is just for testing let me call in it is working the same way we will have a message dollar message and we'll set empty string and we'll pass this inside the message to the variable we'll pass this message to the variable and we'll echo this variable over here call md12 div with alert danger php echo so if you see you are getting you clicked the so let's give the padding that's it just so a little early now we need the data so dollar underscore post name so it's email and we have pwd pswd let me check again yes it is email and it is password and let us store it to a variable dollar email dollar password i will pass it inside my sqli underscore real escape string and we have to give the connection so before that uh, let me add the md5 function which is we have used for encryption we have to pass the uh, connection you have to give the database connection dollar con on the as the first parameter for mysql i real string real escape string so we have to include this dot dot slash which is inside config db dot php now let's check we'll display the email if it is properly working on login it says you clicked on the button and the admin is available so it is working fine now i have to give uh, these two data inside the uh, database query so for that you have to write a sql query select all from our table admin data where the email which I have the name I have given is email is this and the password is equal to the stored password if it is working we get a result we don't need the while loop and we'll give the message if it if the query fails incorrect incorrect credential 
if the query passed correct refresh it so we'll demo this and we have write a set function if a set semicolon yeah it is because of this thing Concatenative. If I click on login, it says incorrect credential. So if I give the data which is already in the database, which is this one, it should say correct. Fine. Once we get the correct result. We have to create a session and redirect to the index.php. Let us create a session dollar underscore session email and we'll give the variable email as the data and we want to redirect header location colon index.php. Once the data is right, it will redirect me to the index.php. Now it will say the credential is wrong. So if I type what is in the database, which is the right one, login, it will redirect me to the index.php. It is working. Now I need to check. Let me open all the files. So I have to add a check like if if is set dollar underscore session which is email instead of if it is not set and And we have to check it whether it is empty or not. If it is empty and if it is blank, if the session is empty and if the session is not set, then redirect. Uh, how we are going to redirect? header actually we have the code written over here on the login.php file it has gone so we'll have to write again location index.php login.php and we have to start the session so on the admin login as well we have to do the same so we'll copy paste the whole thing on all the pages
the requested URL is not found on the server. On the admin, we have an admin login dot php, not the login dot php. So index dot not the HTML but the PHP. So actually, it is getting if the ses the session is not set. So the problem we made is we have used a login dot php, but the actual file name is admin login dot php. So instead of doing that, why don't we change the name over here? So if I get into the index.php it is not it is redirect me redirecting me to the login because the session is not set. Let me check with another file product.php the session is not set so it is again redirecting me to the login.php so let's Let me log in. It will get me to the index.php and now I can get into the product.php. You can see product.php is working and again edit profile.php. It is working. So let me add one more button here lockup.php on the navbar include. Let me create a file dot php save so here we'll start a session and we'll destroy the session And after destroying the session, I want the redirection uh, to be login dot php logout. Yes. Now, if I try to access the product dot php, it will not allow me because I have logged out. So, if I log in again and click on login. Now, if I get into the product.php, it will allow me. Once I click on logout, and if I try again login to product.php, it will not allow me. So, that's it. Let's get into the next section.